The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. You have a rare, natural beauty. Are you serious? I was never more serious in my life. By the way, dear, your rent's due today. I don't have it. Go fix your face. You're a mess. <laughs> Do you realize that you're three months behind in your rent? Do you realize that Ralph is three months behind with my alimony? So, I'm hooked for the rent. Well, I haven't got it. What do you want me to do? Go out and rob a bank? No, I don't want you to go out and rob a bank. <laughs> with that pittance that Ralph gives you, the least he could do is pay it on time. Yeah, it's the least he could do. But Ralph feels that paying alimony is like feeding oats to a dead horse. <laughs> <laughs> and no cracks. <laughs> Listen to this. Dan Field, open your doors. Due to the tremendous influx of tourists visiting the World's Fair, residents of surrounding communities are being urged to rent out rooms to people who cannot get accommodations in New York City. So? So I could rent out a room and get off the hook. Whose room do you have in mind? And oh, no, you don't. <laughs> oh, why not? You can use my room. We'll double up. Do I have an alternative? Well, now, look, Viv, I'm not going to insist. I'll leave it up to you. Thanks. Either you move in with me or sleep in the garage. <laughs> well, I'll move in with you. Good girl. Now, we'll tack up notices in every store in Danfield. Help me write an ad. Dreadfully drab, even for a bank. Mm. It does look drab, but it also looks like a pushover. <clears throat> if I'd known this country's financial institutions looked this hideous, I'd have bypassed bank robbery for something more aesthetic, like, like stealing famous works of art. <laughs> Imagine pilfering a Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps after this job, we can try one of those drive-in banks. We'd avoid all this ugliness, and we wouldn't even have to get out of the car. Just honk the horn. <laughs> A splendid idea. Just toot for the loot and scoot. However, <laughs> <laughs> uh, first things first. Now, we'll need a few days here to observe this bank's procedure before we determine what method we can best employ. Yes. Well, I'd better check for accommodation. Morning. Hold it, hold, hold it, hold, 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 hold it, Mrs. Carmine. Well, hi, Mr. Mooney. Uh, this bulletin board is for official bank business only. Oh, but Mr. Mooney, our town council says it's our civic duty to try and provide accommodations for World's Fair visitors, and I just want them to know that I have a room for rent. I'm sorry, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, Mr. Mooney, you must have some civic pride. Hold it! Ah! Board alone. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Excuse me, ma'am. We are here in the East to visit the World's Fair, but we, we are unable to find accommodation. I wonder if you know of any rooms for rent here in town? Well, you may not believe this, but I have a room for rent. Not really? Well, yes. this is our lucky day. <laughs> we'll take it. 
Wonderful. <laughs> my name is Carter Harrison. Well, how do you, how do, you do? do? And nice this is my associate, uh, Gordon Bentley. How do you do, Mr. Bentley? It's very nice to know you. I'm Lucy Carmichael. Uh, well, it's a pleasure to have such a charming landlady. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, would you excuse me just for a moment? I like long hair music. That was long hair music. That? It was the Beatles. <laughs> Say, where are the two new boarders? Oh, they said they were going to sleep a little late this morning. Oh, I don't blame them. Trapping around that fair all day and half the night must be exhausting. Yeah. Are you finished, kids? Come on, yeah. I'll take you to school. Okay. Bye, Lucy. Bye-bye. Give me a kiss, sweetheart. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Lucy, I'll be gone a little while. I have some shopping to do. Okay. Say, will you let me have $5? Five dollars? Come on now, you got all that money you got from your new boarders. What did you do with the five dollars I gave you a couple of days ago? Oh, I had a mad fling. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. I'll send you a postcard from Paris. Oh. <laughs> well, good morning, good morning Mr. Harrison. Good, good morning, Mr. Good morning. Bentley. <laughs> Well, are you giving the fair another whirl today, or are you going to take the day off? No, no, no. We are going back there directly after breakfast. Oh, well, I'll have it ready in a jiffy. Uh, thanks, oh, sir. Thanks. <clears throat> well, old boy, the weatherman says we'll have a beautiful day for robbing the bank. Good <laughs> for him. <laughs> oh, I agree. Oh, did you compose the note for me to stick under the teller's nose? Yes, yes, I got oh. it here. Yeah, I think I have, yes. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> Tis brief, this meeting, we admit, but alas, we dare not tarry. So quickly hand thy money forth, for this is cash and carry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's brilliant. Yes. Really, it is. It is. <laughs> Thank you, Ronald. No wonder you're known as the bard of the bandits. Oh, <laughs> oh say, shall we, uh, shall we take our briefcases uh, to carry the loot? No, 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 no. I think this is more of a shopping bag community. <laughs> Besides, shopping bags hold more money. Uh -huh. This is the part I hate, waiting in line. Patience, old boy. Every occupation has its pitfalls. Uh, remember, Gordon, a cheery smile, lots of teeth. So oh, charming. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me, but I just have to cash a check. It'll only take... Oh, hi, fellas. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. This will only take a minute. Would you hold this for me, please? Yes, sir. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm I didn't... terribly sorry. May I use your shopping bag, please? Oh, Here we are. Oh, this is so awful. I told them they were putting too much in that bag. Say, what are you fellas doing here, anyway? Oh, we... Came to all open an account. Uh, oh, well, in that case, I can be of very good service to you, you see, because the president is a friend of mine. Yes, Mr. Mooney, come over and I'll introduce him to you and I'll give you a very good character reference. Come on. <laughs> well, tomorrow is another day. <laughs> Worrying, old boy. Our lady Batinsky has gone to the beauty parlor. We're perfectly safe. <laughs> How can you be sure that we're safe? Well, to get her hair that color must take at least half a day. <laughs> oh, boy, did I save your lives. I was sitting across the street under the dryer, and I looked over here, and your car's parked in front of the bank in a no-parking zone. Oh. And not only that, but you had the motor running. Here, I turned it off for you. Oh, thanks. 
Now, you just better get out there and move that car before they cart you away to jail. That policeman is working his way up the street. Thank you for helping us, Mrs. Carmen. Oh, any time, any time at all. Glad to be of help. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mooney! <laughs> Tomorrow? Well, oh, tomorrow's Saturday. Tonight, when she's asleep. Oh, good. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, it'll be a relief to only worry about burglar alarms, the police, and the FBI. <laughs> The way you manipulated the combination on that safe. Oh, well, that's very kind of you to say that. <laughs> they do realize they won't discover this money's missing until the bank opens Monday. We'll have two full days to get out of town. Wonderful. Oh, well, if that's the case, let's stay here till Sunday and really go out and see the World's Fair. It's a shame to miss it, since we're so close. Well, why not? Money's only good for two things, stealing and spending. <laughs> <laughs> well, we stash it. I, I got an idea. We'll just stuff our little fortune into this mattress, turn it over, and nobody will ever notice it. Huh? Not only a good idea, but a functional one. <laughs> yeah. This mattress could use some stuffing. Give me your knife. <laughs> turn the mattress. Come on, get over there. I want it to go this way. Okay. Now, be careful. Be careful the picture. Oh! Uh, and, ooh. Gee! I can't understand it. It feels like it's stuffed with cement instead of horse hair. Oh, how could it get so lumpy? Looks like they left the horse in it. <laughs> Poor Aunt Viv. No wonder she always complains about her mattress. Yeah, it's even lumpier than she is. <laughs> You run along, dear. Okay, see you later, Mom. Okay, dear. J.P. Morgan. <laughs> what 
What are you reading, Viv? The Danfield Tribune or the Financial Journal? <laughs> Any good buys in the market? Well, Oscar the Butcher has a special on rump roast. <laughs> you know, I've always suspected you had a little nest egg, but you got enough for an omelet. <laughs> what are you talking about? How did you amass your fortune, dear? Oil wells, gold mines, or playing the horses? Now, Lucy, you know I'm flat broke. Oh, come off it, Viv. I just found thousands of dollars you hid in your mattress. <laughs> I knew it. All those henna rinses have finally pickled your brain. <laughs> And to think, with all that money you have upstairs, you can't even pay your rent. Oh, what money are you talking about? You're nothing but a penny-pinching cheapskate. I've never been so confused in all my life. You've never been so loaded in your life, either. <laughs> Is there really money upstairs in my mattress? Yes, thousands. Well, this I gotta see. <laughs> Why do you keep denying it, Viv? It's no crime to be rich. Hi. Hey, Mom, it's all fixed. Yeah, it sounds just as bad as ever. Aunt Lucy, can we have a cookie? Yeah, you can have a cookie. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Theodore J. Mooney, president of the Danfield National Bank, reports the theft of $8,500 from the bank safe. Apparently, the money was stolen sometime last night. Normally, the loss would not have been discovered until Monday, but Mooney appeared at his desk this morning, having forgotten today is Saturday. <laughs> oh, so that's where she got it. Who, what? Ah, uh, oh, oh, nothing, dear. Oh, you poor kid. <laughs> wrong? No, no, everything's gonna be all right. Is it all right if we go down to the Y and shoot some baskets? Yeah, yeah, all right, go along. Will you tell my mom where I am? Yeah, I'll tell her. Lucy, do you know there's over eight thousand dollars here? Eight thousand five hundred. Wow! Oh, Viv, you shouldn't have done it. Then what? Oh, boy, you're the coolest customer since Ma Barker. <laughs> Will you stop acting like a mystery guest and tell me just what you're talking about? I just heard it on the radio, Viv. The Danfield Bank was robbed of $8,500 last night. The Danfield Bank was robbed? <gasps> As if you didn't know. Hold it. Hold it. You mean to tell me that you think that I brought that you brought... Oh, boy. That's a hot one. You shouldn't have, Viv. I would have waited for the rent. Lucy. <laughs> I certainly hate to disappoint you, but I did not rob the bank. You and I played gin rummy last night till midnight. Then we went up to your room and went to bed, remember? Well, then how did all that money get in your mattress? Well, maybe it was put there by the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even sleep in that bed anymore. Remember that? Why don't you accuse the people who are sleeping here? You're two very fancy boarders. You're two... Boy, your boy, the boy, the boy, the My boy. gosh, they're crooks. Oh, Lucille, and they look like perfect gentlemen. Oh, they're the worst kind. Oh, we got to get out of here. If they catch us here with their money, they'll kill us in cold blood. They would kill us, Lucille. Now, don't Believe panic. They don't panic. 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 Don't Oh, I'm going to take mine before that skin flint gets you. Hello, hello. Mr. Mooney, this is Lucy Carmichael. You've got to come over here right away. I've got the stolen money. I've been waiting for your call. You were? Yes, every other crackpot in town has called. You were the only one that was missing. <laughs> Oh? 
Oh, where did you find the money? Stuffed in Vivian's mattress. Oh, that's the best one yet. <laughs> you in the crackpot jackpot. <laughs> Mr. Moody, if you don't believe me, I'll bring the money to you. I'll be right over. I can hardly wait. <laughs> I'll show him who's a crackpot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Lucy, what? They're driving up in front of the house. Who is? Your two crooked boarders. Oh, dear, we got to get this money out of here without them seeing it. How are we going to get all that money out of here? You go down and stall them. Yeah, what are you going to do? How are you going to get all, all the money? <laughs> oh, Lucy, that'll never work. You can't get all of that money in there. Don't worry, Viv. These stretch pads are going to stretch farther than they've ever stretched before. <laughs> Well, Saturday at the World's Fair was impossible. It was jam-packed. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we've seen enough of the fair. So instead of waiting for tonight, we've decided to go right now. Yeah, so you, if you'll excuse us, we have quite a bit of packing to do. Oh, uh, uh, I wouldn't go now if I were you. I'd wait till tonight. Oh, uh, uh, getting out of dance field this afternoon would just be murder. I, I mean, impossible. Okay, well, we just have to take our chances. Excuse me. Oh, if I were you, I would wait until... Uh, uh, what, uh, what, uh... <laughs> Hi, fellas. Hi. Hi. Uh, 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 Mrs. Carl Michael, what has happened to you? Uh, oh, it's a, it's it's an old allergy. Uh, every time I eat hearts of lettuce, I get uh, grepsophilia. Yeah, I, I break out in lumps. <laughs> Strange, you only break out from the waist down. Yeah, well, that's grepsophilia for you. <laughs> uh, 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 this is what happens when I eat lettuce heart. You see, when I eat a head of lettuce, I get a lumpy head. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 the pain, uh, the itching is driving me crazy. Viv, you gotta drive me to the doctor's right away. Oh, yeah, I'll get the car out of the garage. Well, yeah. it'd be faster if we took you. Oh, no, don't Our bother, no. Right no. Oh, get the car. In your condition, every minute counts. Oh, now, come no, on, no, yes. no, come no, on. Don't come bother, on. don't bother. Listen. No, hold it, hold it. I'm not going to be able to make it. I think I think we better have the doctor come over here. All right. Yeah, call the doctor. His number is 1166. 1166. Yeah. No, no, that's the police station. I know that. <laughs> Every uh, Saturday. Saturday afternoon. Yes, oh, oh yeah, yes. oh he's always there. Yes. Yeah, he, he gives the department their weekly checkups. The, the, the chief is a physical fitness nut. Dad, <laughs> use the kitchen phone. Why? Like, so the doctor will be able to hear over all the noise. What noise? Oh, ah. oh, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now you stay with Mrs. Carmichael and I'll go up and pack. Oh no, don't leave me. No, I shall be here. Well, yeah, well, I need both of you. When, when I really start to scratch, it takes two men to hold me down. Hey, hey, he'll be right here. Uh, hey, the doctor will be right here. Yeah, oh, I think I'd be more comfortable standing up. Uh, oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah help. Oh, oh, my. There you go. Oh, oh, my. Oh, Lettuce really does give you lumps, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Yes, but that lettuce happens to be ours. All 8,500 leaves of it. Give it to me. Where's the rest of my money? I'm wearing it. 
No bank ever had branches like that. <laughs> The Lucy Show, starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. You have a rare natural beauty. <laughs> Are you serious? I was never more serious in my life. <coughs> By the way, dear, your rent's due today. <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> Go fix your face. You're a mess. <laughs> Do you realize that you're three months behind in your rent? Do you realize that Ralph is three months behind with my alimony? So, I'm hooked for the rent. Well, I haven't got it. What do you want me to do? Go out and rob a bank? No, I don't want you to go out and rob a bank. <laughs> with that pittance that Ralph gives you, the least he could do is pay it on time. Yeah, it's the least he could do. But Ralph feels that paying alimony is like feeding oats to a dead horse. <laughs> <laughs> and no cracks. <laughs> Hey, listen to this. Dan Field, open your doors. Due to the tremendous influx of tourists visiting the World's Fair, residents of surrounding communities are being urged to rent out rooms to people who cannot get accommodations in New York City. So? So, I could rent out a room and get off the hook. Whose room do you have in mind? And oh, no, you don't. <laughs> oh, why not? You can use my room. We'll double up. 